know that we can't understand your loss, Mrs. Gerard, but we're, we are trying to respect it. If anything had happened to me before my mother died, I, I always thought she was worried it would, and so were a lot of parents. I think she was relieved when I met Cal, as much as anything. Loss. It's a terrible word. I know what loss means. Try to respect Cal's. He lost more than your son. He lost a generation. People who might have mattered. Hamlets. Nuriyevs. Melvilles and Twains. Young men who wanted to write the great American novel too. Why are you telling me this? I think people like Cal have been punished enough, Mrs. Gerard. I <laughs> tried to imagine what those years were like for him and Andre, but I, I don't get very far. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to. The mind shuts down, or the capacity to care, it's one way of dealing with it. I don't have that luxury. Well, of course you don't, and neither does Cal. What happened to gay men in the final decades of the 20th century? First it will be a chapter in a history book, then a paragraph, then a footnote. People will shake their heads and say, oh, what a, what a terrible thing, how sad, it's already started to happen. I can feel it happening, all the raw edges of pain dulled, deadened, drained away. I know what I did wrong. I didn't go out and find another Andre just as soon as I I am could. not another Andre, No Mrs. one knows Gerard. that better than I. It is presumptuous of you to think you could ever take his place. Cal didn't want another Andre. There is no other Andre, just mine. And he is gone forever, and I will mourn him forever. I don't want peace or closure. That's another word I detest. I want revenge. I'm Hamlet. Take my picture. I'm my own poster. Vengeance. You won't find it here. Then where? Then I don't know, but not in our home.